I've heard stories about you. Neville King. So why this? What makes you do this and not something else? Look mate, all you need to worry about is getting the job done. Like the boss said, it's you who pulls the trigger. Otherwise... <laughs> I'll see what happens. So how'd you piss off Giovanni? Thought we weren't here to be buddies. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So I was on this big deal, so I went smack to the Viets. That's when it went bad. Someone fucking snitched and called the cops. So naturally, when Australia's finest showed up. Look, I had to toss the shit. So now Geo's down 100k and it's my fucking problem. So he's made me do this, and here we are. I take it. This is the first time experience for you. Well, yeah. Now all I do is sell the shit. I'm sure, I've got a gun at home and carry this with me everywhere. I've never had to do anything like this before. I've never had to kill someone. You choose this life too. It's just another day, another job. You know who the rat was. I have no idea. Do you know what the guy did? Alright. <laughs> what? That's it? Giovanni has a short fuse for those kind of things.
Tom? You know this bloke? Yeah, of course I know him. He's my best mate. Well, your best mate's the one who snitched at the fucking coppers. He's a no-good bloody rat. Tom? Was it you? I'm sorry, Jake! I had no choice. The cops busted me about a month ago, told me that if I didn't help him out, I'd be going to jail. I can't go to jail, man. I'll be eaten alive. You didn't know what I was supposed to do. You didn't know what you were supposed to do? What the fuck am I supposed to do? You know Jess is pregnant, yeah? You know, yeah? It's two fucking kilograms of heroin they got. I would have got to jail a lot fucking longer than you. Start digging. Please, no! I said start fucking digging, cunt. I had no choice. You told me about the raid. I would have sent someone else. They needed you to try and get to Giovanni. Turn around. No, 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 please. You don't need to do this. I said turn around! Like you said, I have no choice. You knew the whole fucking time who he was, didn't you? So what if I did, mate? I'm just here to manage things. So you heard what Giovanni said. Because if you don't, I guess he's gonna raise an only child. <laughs> Give me your gun. No. I said, give me your fucking gun! Can you listen here? And you calm down. I'm not gonna give you my gun. You're the one with the job to do. So you fucking do it. Give me. The fucking gun! Don't do anything stupid now. Thanks, mate. I won't tell anyone about this. I know. We were friends. Protect one another, isn't that what we used to say? Now you see what happens.
morning, sir. We're just conducting a random alcohol breath test tonight. We want to make sure everyone's having a safe holiday. Have you had anything to drink? Ah, uh, just about seven beers. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. All good. Clearly. Doesn't look like he is. Yeah, he's he's had a couple of... I'll get you to blow into this, thank you. Just keep going till I say stop. And stop. So what trouble have you been up to? What's happened with him? There hasn't been any fights, has he? No, no, just uh... No, he hasn't been stabbed? <laughs> hasn't been shot? <laughs> no, he's, he's just uh... He's getting married, so um... He's getting married. Yeah, and he's clearly a... thrilled about it. He's uh, a couple too many. Oh, right, yeah. I remember I started drinking heavy when I was first married as well. Oh, that was a shit decision. Anyway, well, there we go. You're fine. You're good to go. Have a good evening. Thanks, officer. Keep him safe from his wife, I guess.